Let's watch Poppy's baby learn how to stand. She's been born about, oh, certainly no more than 10 minutes. I know she can already hold her head up. There's Poppy, proud mum, just watching on. And there's the baby. I haven't named her yet. It is definitely a little girl. All I've done so far is just give her a brisk rub with a towel just to start drying her off. And then um, I've sprayed her umbilical cord with iodine. Um, everything there looks good. It's normal for her to roll around like this. It helps rub the um, sack, protective sack they're born in. Uh, it helps rub that off. And she's got to learn to coordinate those legs before she's going to be able to stand up. It's a lovely warm day today. If it wasn't so warm or if there was more wind chill, I would be thinking about whether I need to dry the baby further or get a coat on it. But at this stage, I'm happy all is normal. So let's just see the baby start to get her move around. Whoopsie. You can hear the quiet hum. Mum's giving little quiet hums to the baby. And the baby's talking back. That's the beginning of the bond. This is a very calm mum. She knows me very well. She's not at all bothered by me being here. Good. The baby's got itself into the cush position, that's where it's lying on top of its legs. That's the best position for the baby because it helps both lungs to breathe. Um, so it's a good good um, thing that it's doing that. There we are, we have mummy kisses. Very straightforward birth. It took about 25 minutes, but mum was very chilled throughout. The baby wasn't in any distress. So always best to let them have a natural birth if you can. The baby needs to have get antibodies from its mum. They're not born with any. And so it comes in the first milk from the mum. We vaccinated the mum. We vaccinate them between two and eight weeks before birth. Um, to make sure that the antibodies are at the best possible level. And we then, um, that means that the colostrum will be nice and rich in antibodies. And when the baby starts to suckle, it needs to get that colostrum in within the first um, six to eight hours. The stomach lining on these babies is adapted to let the large molecules um, of the antibodies go through and after about say after about eight hours though the stomach lining changes and that eight hours starts from when the baby first starts to suckle so it's really important that the first stuff the baby gets is colostrum rather than anything like um, kickstart which is a sugary molasses -y solution often given to give animals an extra energy boost but we don't want to give um, anything that's going to lessen the colostrum intake time. So it's better the baby's hungry. Um, and if for any reason she wasn't able to feed after maybe three or four hours, I'd be considering milking mum out and either tube or bottle feeding it according to how able the baby was. A baby that can't suck is going to need tube feeding. Everything I'm seeing with this baby is it's perfectly normal. It's a lovely, strong, fit, active baby. So I'm expecting it to be on its feet and able to suckle from mum quite quickly.